All right. So uh, this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. A weekly general tarot reading, March 2nd to March 8th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find oops, a, uh, a link to my website uh, from which you can uh, purchase such. So that being said, moving to the uh, to the reading straight away of the week for us, Scorpio. Now the first card that we do have it is uh, the Six of Pentacles, marking the topic and the theme of the week, followed by uh, the energy which is feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is to be uh, the Five of Cups. Moving next, it is the challenges uh, that we have to stand against, hopefully overcoming here. That is to be the Seven of Wands. Then we do have the gifts and the and the blessings. Uh, crossing my fingers for this one. Uh, we do have well, okay. So it is the Queen of Swords. Then it is uh, what kind of impression we are gonna leave into the people around. That is to be the uh, Seven of Swords, and the last one that we do have it is uh, the guidance the Tarot is offering. That is to be the Six of uh, Wands. So quite of an interesting one. So. What is going to look like from a side, it is that we are leaving a, a sinking ship, uh, at least according to this uh, to this particular reading. So uh, what happens here is uh, through the energies like this. So we do have the five of cups, which points that throughout the week there is to be a either a disappointing event or a, a failure but not our personal one okay it's we it will be a, a cumulative one for what it seems through the reading and uh, uh it does look like that uh, we are going to refuse to be on the failing side or on the disappointing side therefore uh I, it's simply that we are to deviate from um, from the rest of the company, if you will. You know, it could be a social circle, it could be a as well uh, co-workers and etc. etc. And instead of uh, taking the hit and taking uh, the fall, that is, we are to either negotiate the new terms for ourselves, or it, it is just we are going to make our escape. From it, and that is because here with the six of pentacles, which is standing as the topic uh, of uh, the situation itself of the week, it is that because we alone are going to understand for ourselves that regardless what we do, it's it's not fixable. It's just it isn't, and uh, for that reason, instead of throwing our resources in a in a direction or in a thing in a relationship for example or in a project that simply it's futile we are to redistribute those resources into a, a different things so uh, in a core perception of uh, this week the week itself is going to be a productive uh, uh, for us at least for a scorpio but for some which are around us it's not going to be exactly as productive as it is uh, as it is for us for reason being is that they're not going to be as lucky as we are to be able to leave like said a the sinking ship so uh for that reason um it's very important as um, for a scorpio to uh recognize when when we simply have to draw a line when we have to say stop it just isn't working it's not what we wanted and it, it isn't something that makes us happy it isn't something that satisfies and from there we redistribute those resources we are throwing like I said either into that relationship or either into that project into a completely either new endeavor or something that we have left on the back seat um until you know we have the time or the resources resources spared for it uh that is because uh, we do have the six of pentacles really and the six of pentacles it is one of the cards especially next to the five of cups here showing that no matter how much you throw in it if it doesn't want to happen it ain't going to happen that is uh you know that maxima that if something does not 
kind of have a, a, it cannot be bought for money it can be bought for a lot of money well not this time around not with these uh, not with these two cards and uh, that could be well said for these kind of for example relationships where if someone doesn't want you or someone doesn't want us they don't want us so we have to move to the next one okay or if that project excludes us or it just doesn't want to happen it doesn't want to happen so we move to the next one that's why it's very important here for us to have an awareness to just go with the flow okay if once again if if it have to push it then you know what is going to be most likely a shade at the end of the day so no pushing whatsoever we just go with uh with that direction or with that endeavor that is just you know unfolding say a naturally to us without much of a struggle and without much of a push uh, from our behalf now that doesn't mean that we don't have to in incorporate in it you know either efforts or either resources we do but as we do there is also a product from them there is also a, a progression because there is no point throwing resources effort and time into something that has no progression whatsoever and so why this is a leaving a, a ship or leaving a, a sink, sinking ship here now we do have the seven of wands as the challenges that we have to uh, overcome and uh, it does look like that many people will, because the Seven of Wands always refers to others, exterior influences. So exterior influence will try to keep us to keep us in check, if you will, will try to keep us closed. And this particular thing that doesn't make any sense for us any longer, okay? Uh, either relationship or a career endeavor, etc., etc. So, with the Seven of Wands, it's very important to address this exterior influence or the uh, resilience that the rest, the rest are showing or are trying to incorporate in regards to us in terms of us moving in a different direction here okay and just deflect all the attack and intimidation because the seven of wands also works through intimidating that is a address to us another thing with the seven of wands it's uh, knowing when to do something and knowing when to act there will be a specific moments in time and places that we have to take the initiative and uh, at that uh, at that point we, we're definitely gonna know um when the time arises when we see it we know that it is right what it is it is just the problem is going to be that we may find ourselves unprepared so that is another challenge here to be always ready to jump into action always ready to kind of like a uh seize the initiative or kind of like take on um, the task at hand or the endeavor that it is uh, that it is in front of us so that is pretty much what the seven of wands here points that as we deviate you know from the failure we are obviously establishing our new domain and those people which are stuck with the failure will not want us to kind of like establish our new domain but take but take the hit with them as well um i don't know what kind of a circumstances uh that failure is gonna go uh, is gonna come through but to be honest i can't think of something about me right now because i am a scorpio and i'm quite looking forward to see how this is going to manifest for me but uh whatever it is uh, at the end of the day scorpio you have to understand that you know your success and your failures are your own and therefore you decide are you gonna stay through one when you see that it is just is going to be a failure or you're once again going to redistribute redistribute excuse me your resources into something a more productive and no one i mean no one can tell you otherwise so the question is how you know it's failure well this is where the gifts and blessings are coming to play we do have a person here queen of swords now these people they're very uh, the word is not educated uh it's more like a forewarned what i mean is that they know what is to happen they know what is to come after either because they have made their research because they are very experienced as well that also have a hand into it well, once they see the situation they say no 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 this this ain't gonna happen it's going to be a colossal failure for example and uh, that person will 
kind of like push you into the right direction that is the gift and the blessings for us that through the emancipating nature of the queen of swords her uh, i'm saying her because it's a queen but it could be as well a man okay um it's well i can't say it okay so her uh, experience through poignancy that is very typical for the queen of swords that person they don't kind of clinch to experience through success they only make a note of their failure so they do not repeat their failure and for what it seems the situation we are going to find ourselves in kind of resembles something very close to a failure that that person experienced and they don't want to see us um, going there uh, uh, for one or another reason and as well the queen of swords they are very skilled people what i mean is that whenever they do have a goal they definitely know how to push their things through so whatever they are talking about they definitely know what they're talking about and it's highly highly advisable that we are to listen to their advice in one or another form or at least make a note out of it so the warning that is going to tell us what is to be productive or not is going to come from a very experienced once again a person someone who definitely accomplished way more than we had up until uh, this stage and up until this moment and it's once again a highly highly advisable that we take a note and consider what they are saying to us so how people are going to take a look at us uh, that is to be the seven of swords uh, unfortunately they're going to see us quite ungrateful and as well selfish ungrateful why it is because we are walking away from the failure however demanding the payment in terms of benefits money or appreciation or whatever that we have worked for up until this moment and from there abandoning the ship or the camp here the war camp moving toward our own agenda and toward our happiness uh, that for once uh, that was about the ungrateful and selfish is once again because we are bailing off okay so we are deciding not to lead that battle or to be a participant of this lost battle of this lost cause and instead we are redirecting toward a something else no one can blame the people that they're seeing us that way but also no one can blame us that we don't want to take a fall all right no one can blame us that we don't want to take a hit especially if that hit it's um it's a cumulative thing what i mean it is that although we are we were a part of a team we were not the head of the team and this the seven of of uh, swords here only point that this failure it was not because of us okay it was because of someone else's decisions and therefore we should not be held accountable that we don't want to take the fall if we can avoid it and the last one for us is the uh, six of uh, wands and that is the guidance and the cards kind of like uh, strengthens the position of the seven of uh, swords here pointing that yes we need to demand for our payments rewards and uh, recognition as well but also the six of wands kind of uh, refers to peak of experiences in a sense of that we have to start moving in a direction uh, toward uh, for example new relationship or new business deal you know or new career path that we ca that we have established a certain name in it that we have uh, accomplished a certain achievements at that particular part but there is still what to give in it there is still yet more to be accomplished and to be consolidated at this uh, at this particular path so pretty much uh, the six of wands here urges us scorpio to do what we are good at for a price okay so say we have developed skills we have developed knowledge and that does not come for free but whenever we are to do that for someone else we should demand a, a compensation so that being said scorpio this was uh, our weekly reading uh march 2nd to march 8 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below uh, is going to give you a link to my website through which you can purchase a uh, reading and uh, with that being said hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye